Hello, clever people, and welcome back to Mario for Ghost in the Shell. So, Ghost in the Shell is the remake of the 1995, I'm pretty sure, anime, which was based off of the manga, which I have not seen yet, I would like to see. But it's about this person who died, and she is rebuilt into this robot. She's the first person to ever be created. Uh, her brain, her brain, the ghost, is inside of this artificial body, the shell, and she is finding out why she exists. And this movie does not have much of a plot. It's another one of those films that's entertaining for the most part, and does not have much substance. Let's start off with the good. The effects are fantastic. All of the visual effects, it's not like a film that has a lot of effects, like Transformers, where a lot of people congratulate their effects, where it feels like you are watching CGI. I'm not watching a movie, I'm watching CGI. But this felt really natural for how much CGI it was, and that was fantastic. It was all very well done. The sound design, this isn't something I normally compliment, but every all the sound design in this film was very fantastic. Action, for the most part, was all pretty well choreographed. The action was great, except sometimes the plot surrounding that fight was not very good. So let's move on to the fact. Like I said, this film does not have much of a plot. It's just, hey, it's the very basic thing. She's trying to find out her reason. There may be, like, an, an evil thing that maybe she people are lying to her or something like that. And I have to say, if you have not watched the trailers, do not watch the trailers. The trailers spoil everything. Well, it was kind of predictable. But still, the plot did not make sense. It was kind of a mess. It felt like some scenes should have been in front of other scenes, not in the way they were put. And the film is not compelling. It's entertaining, for the most part, but there are a lot of scenes where you're just like, huh. I gotta do this later. Huh, maybe I should do this, plan this, do this. Oh, oh, movie, movie. It's, it's, it's just... It's very easy to not pay attention. Most films like this, it's like, action, 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 it's throwing too much at you. But this, I felt for some of the film, it threw, a little t threw too little at you. Overall, I thought Ghost in the Shell was mediocre, and that's why I will give it a 5 out of 10. I have still not reviewed Wilson, and... I'm going to announce the Blu-ray winner right now. Alright, so congratulations for to Danny Sabin for winning the Blu-ray giveaway. Use the YouTube conversation tool thing and uh, whatever it's called and I will, you send me your address and I will mail it to you. Alright, so that concludes my review. I'm Connor Gilbert and this has been the Clever Critics. Goodbye.